Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So we have an Oakley video today, which is everybody's favourite. If you are new, Oakley is my Cocker Spaniel. He is two years old now. Uh, we've had him for over two years as well now. So, without further ado, I'll get him in the video because I know that everybody's here. He is sitting down here on his bed looking at me as if I'm crazy. But, I'll get him in front of him. Okay. Up. Good boy. Can, up. Ah, there we go. Can you look that way? I know, it's because all your favourites are there. But look, we're going to look at the people. Oh, okay, you could live. So, there we go. Where's your face? There's your face. <laughs> this is a good job. So, I thought we'd run through some of Oakley's favourites today. I know a lot of people do this, like, for their for their self on their own channel like people do like July's favourites, February's favourites or like November's favourites types of thing going through favourite stuff for that month but I thought we'd go through Oakley's general favourites because people love the Oakley videos they love it I'm just checking what he's doing what are you doing? people love seeing Oakley and people love knowing what Oakley likes so I thought we'd do Oakley's general favourites oh he's trying to get to them because they're over there can you come back? baby Oh, come on. So we've got a mix of everything. We are just doing items. Where are you going? Can you put your legs up there at least? Thank you. What are you doing? <laughs> we are going to do items rather than like his favourite things like walks and stuff like that just because I thought it would be more useful for a YouTube video because then you guys can look into getting them for your pups if you want to as well or just if you're interested in the items that Oakley likes. So, I have a list. We have... He's desperate to get to those things. Right, we will do foods first. I haven't got one of them, but let's do his favorite treats first. So, these are his favorite treats. You can come up if you want, okay? You're not getting them though. That It's not open. No, it's not open. I know these are your favorites. That's the whole point of the video. Do you want to come up? Um, so, these are his low value, typical value treats. These are the WAG <laughs> barbecue bangers. These, we were using, <laughs> we have been using these since he was a puppy. We've tried all of them, apart from the beef ones, because we just don't like having beef in the house. Uh, also, I think I said that in another haul video, and I don't mean that Oakley's vegetarian. I just don't, we just don't have him eat beef. Um, Somebody commented saying you need to be able to feed your dog meat and Oakley does eat meat, his food is chicken and then these are meat. We just don't have beef in the house and also fish is fine. They also thought that fish wasn't okay for dogs and I'm pretty confident it is. Anyway, we've tried all of them, all of them. These are his favourites. These and also the lamb ones that come like and they look like little lamb chops. He thinks he's getting a treat, he's gone back on his bed. These are his favourite ones. These are my favourite because they are so easy to break apart. He doesn't ever really get a full treat like that. It's rubbish. It says that is the actual size of the treat. That is a lie. They are not that size. They are smaller than this. But these compared to the ones that are like hearts or the steak kind of things, they're so much easier to break apart when you're like doing training, like walking or recall, whatever. They're just... They're so much easier, so we both like them. We also have the sausages, which I've talked about loads. I'm not entirely sure what brand this is. Camera battery dies, but it is Pets at Home. It's a Pets at Home own brand, and they are literally just chicken sausages. We like these because they come individually sealed in the packets. There, I think, I'm not sure how many you get, but there's a pack of eight, I think. It might be more than that. But you get a pack of them, and they're all individually sealed, and you can like tear them off. They are vacuum pack seals so they last ages and they are a bit of a pain to open. You have to remember to open them before you go on your walk because it's literally like, it's completely like vacuum pack sealed. But it's basically just a hot dog and I understand that people will be like, stop spending so much money and just use a hot dog. But because this is a pets at home thing, I know that every ingredient in there is safe for him. And oh, just them being sealed makes them last so much longer and it's so much easier and also you can like squeeze it up kind of like I don't know like a fruit where you can just squeeze it up and then you can tear a bit off obviously that's not like fruit but you guess my gist it's just so much easier than having a hot dog and then having to hold the hot dog 
these are great he absolutely loves them these are his high value rewards so he gets this for recall another food that he absolutely loves is bananas i am not going to hold a banana though because bananas are i hate them they are such a sensory issue for me i hate them but he loves them he loves them. He will literally choose banana over peanut butter. He has it now in his Kongs, in his lick mats. That is what he loves to eat. He, he would choose a banana over anything, but I'm not gonna hold on. But yeah, he has it in different forms. We put his tablets in it if he's being difficult and not eating these tablets for like his worming and things like that. But he will have it in any form and he absolutely loves bananas. Right, the last food type thing is his dentist sticks. He very much enjoys these. These are actually the wrong size for him. We use the Purina Dental Life Oral Care ones. Oh my God, they got a little... Oh my God. We've been opening these wrong. How? They've got a little seal thing on the front that's like tissues. Oh, oh my God. Jack literally walked in the room at the exact same, the exact time that I realized that. I can't believe that. Anyway, these are the wrong size for them, uh, for him, because Jack picked up the wrong size in one of the, like, we get these in, like, the big boxes. How many do you reckon we got in that last one? Like, 52. Was it not more than that? I think so. Right, well, the coming packs, there's three in there, and then they're, like, all individually wrapped, and Jack reckons we've got 52 in the last one because he goes through them, he loves them. We choose these ones because they have the little denta, like, they have, like, a little, um symbol on them that shows that they've been proven to help with these teeth and these are the ones that we got on sale when we first joined the pets at home puppy thing and he just really really likes them like i say these are the wrong size so these are for 7 to 12 kilos so we just have to keep an eye on them making sure that they don't choke because they are a bit small but he's only is he 15 kilos more like 16 or 17 now. Well, he's only a few, he's only a few kilos over, but his are normally like, it's probably more the size of the packet rather than the size that they actually are. But he loves these. He, if, you, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen him playing with them. He freaking loves them. So those are the dent uh, sticks that we choose. Okay, leading on from food is his puzzle ball. He loves this. He gets this at least once a day. This is what we do his meals in now because it's a bit of enrichment. It is what it says on the tin, it's a puzzle ball. So his meal goes in there and he just kicks it about and then it comes out of these holes. These holes are too big for kibble. So we have inside, it's Mingham because he's had his meal in it, so don't judge. Um, okay, you've left some in here again. Oh, silly Billy. Um, so we put our protein scoops in there. That's absolutely vile. These, this needs washed desperately. Um, we put protein scoops in there and then it just adds a little bit of difficulty. I imagine you could also put like bigger treats in there that could also that could also get stuck in there. Like this is a Kong one, so Kong definitely have treats that are the right size for this. But you could put bigger treats in there, you could put anything in there to make it a bit more difficult because if he didn't have the protein scoops in there, his kibble would literally just fall straight out because these holes are absolutely massive. But he loves this, he loves chasing it around, he'll play, you can probably see the bite marks on it. He, baby boy, you haven't done this very well. They're falling out when Ram's holding them. He will play with this when it's just been left on the floor after his meals. He, he loves this. It's a really durable material as well, actually. Like, I know I've said there are teeth marks in it, but he hasn't gotten anything off this. It's a really nice size for a Cocker Spaniel as well. Like, he can't get his jaw around it, so we don't have to worry about him like accidentally like swallowing it or him not being able to play with it a little bit. So we really like this. I can't remember where we got... I think we got this from a local pet store. I'm going to try and find links to everything that I've mentioned, though, so check down below. Another enrichment activity that Oakley absolutely loves is treasure hunts, and that is exactly what it sounds like. So we will literally, again, this is normally for his meal times, especially if we're leaving him, uh, like in the house by himself. We will hide his food round the living room. The living room is his space, so when we leave, he gets shut in the living room with the door shut. So it will just be hidden all over the space that he is in apart from places that like he could cause havoc with it so like wouldn't put it on the shelves right next to one of the ornaments or another shelf or like underneath my computer that's got loads of wires everywhere i wouldn't leave it there but we will hide it on the floor up levels bless you on top of things as long as it's safe 
Uh, a lot goes in his crate and like hidden in his bed because then it's a bit more snuffly and also provides like positive, what's the word I'm looking for? Perfection. No positive associations with his crate. I don't know, I, I know what I mean but I can't think of the word. So yeah, it just gets hidden around. He absolutely loves it. Oakley loves using his nose. Snuffle is his favourite thing. But I think the, the, the treasure hunts are becoming more his favourite thing than the snuffle. I think he's starting to get bored of the snuffle. So treasure hunts, he just absolutely, his tail just goes mental. I know tails wagon can also be a negative thing, but he loves it. He gets very excited when he knows it's a treasure hunt because we get him to stick it like way outside of the door and he just he loves it. Right, last thing before we come on to toys is his bed. I am going to put a picture up of him on his bed because it's a pain to get the camera off. But he freaking loves this silent night bed. And I know, I, I feel like it's one of those things where it's like, oh, but it's his bed. He's always gonna love his bed. It's not the case. He has had so many beds. He has one in the car. He has a flat bed. He has a bed that goes in his crate. And he had an old living room bed. He never stayed on his bed as much as what he does with this silent night bed. And we haven't done any positive association training with this bed because we just haven't done bed training in a long time. All of his like bed training was with his old one. And even then he just wouldn't be that bothered lying on that bed. He freaking loves this silent night bed. He's on it now and I've let him come up. He prefers to be on that. It is so good. It's like orthopedic, so it's good for him. He has the little sides where he can rest his head on. And as well, because there are the sides, I think he feels like he can like, snu like snuggle up in it better than what he could in his last one. He just absolutely loves it. It's been so good for us. It's so like, I don't know, there's no faff with it because there's no like middle bit, like middle insert that can come out. He, he just absolutely loves it and it's so freaking pretty and really reasonable in price as well. I, you, if you've, if you are subscribed, you'll have seen us give it to him on his second birthday, but I'm going to leave the link again. You can buy it from loads of different places, but the cheapest place that we found it is on the Silent Night website. By far, it was the cheapest and it had free delivery. It came within, it said it's like three to five days. It came in two when we ordered it and that was on a weekend as well. Honestly, so good. I think we got him the large, didn't we? Yeah, and on the website it says a medium for Cocker Spaniels, but I just wanted him to have a little bit more room. So medium is 100% fine. But we got him the large and I, I freaking love it. Right, toys. Three main toys that Oakley loves is one, socks. He's like every other dog, I'm sure. But he freaking loves socks. He will steal one any chance he gets. He absolutely loves them. He doesn't play with them that often anymore. We used to let him have them, but he just got too good at ripping them apart and then like you could see the threads coming off so he doesn't get them anymore. But I mean, I'm not going to say that he doesn't love them because he freaking does. He absolutely loves them. His favourite thing at the minute is to go steal one from somewhere, come down and show us that he has it. I'm not sure why he likes to do it, but he likes to show that he has it and then we take it off him and then that's it. But he freaking loves socks. Anyway, his next favourite toys are... He might come up now for this are crinkle toys and stuffless toys. This is also for us. This is also convenience because he will get stuffing out of any single toy that he has. Stuffless toys have been the best discovery for him. They are just so freaking good. His favorite ones in the world. I don't know where Rabbit is. Do you know where Rabbit is? He has two rabbits that are stuffless and he absolutely adores them. He he. He doesn't, he's never been a dog to carry around stuff, just to carry around in his mouth. He will carry around those rabbits, he freaking loves them. I'm not sure, they're disgusting. They need a wash, but he has two. This is one we bought him yesterday. This is like, a, I think it said a chipmunk. Yeah, unstuffed chipmunk. And he is excited for it. I, like he's literally eyeing this up. It's so freaking soft. He never gets into, like the thing is, he will get into it. He rips holes in it with his teeth, but then that's it. He's, he, nothing can come out of it. This one does have a squeaker in it, and I think it has a bit of a crinkle in it, but not a huge amount. But they're just brilliant. And I mean, crinkle toys are on the same kind of vein, but he loves the crinkle sound. Ever since he was a puppy, it was his favorite thing. Like, he, it was his favorite thing to have a crinkle one. This is one from when he's a puppy, it's a bit small now. He also has a broccoli, if you know pets at home, 
you'll have seen these before and you'll have seen the broccoli. I feel like everybody has the broccoli. But he absolutely loves crinkle toys. They're his favourite. This one we got from um, My Pet HQ, which is a local store in Morpeth. Absolutely incredible. If you are local to the northeast in England, go to it. It's a brilliant store. And then this is just pets at home. But these ones are so much better. I found like going to local pet stores are better than pets at home but I'll leave the links to ones that he has in it. I thought we'd finish off the video by giving you your new toy. What do you think? What does dad think? Yeah? Oh you can see the bed as well. You can see how happy, look how cute he looks on it. Look at how cute he looks. That's cute. Do you want to come get it off me? Okay. Wow. What's that? What is it? Oh, it's so soft and it's not gonna last. No. This five, rabbit five is minutes. so disgusting. <laughs> wow. You want to show me? No? Not yet. You'll come off his bed in a minute, I'm yeah. sure. He's getting quite good at coming to show me his toys, but when it's a brand new one, he's not. He's not gonna let go of it. Should we get you off your bed so you can actually play with it? Hey. <laughs> Should we get you off your bed? You bring it off here. He doesn't know how to cook. Wow. Play with it now, get though. it. You get it. Don't show me. I know you're scared. Don't worry. We're not going to take it off you. Hey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can you show the camera? Wow. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you want to come and pitch? Wow! Wowie! Wowie! Do you like it? That's better than a stinky rabbit, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pile of toys. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for this video. Like I said, I'm going to leave everything in the description box down below. If I can find it, it'll probably Amazon Pets at Home and I'll try and find my pet HQ links in case you are local to the northeast because you know it's always better to shop local but anyway if you did enjoy it please make sure to leave the video a like and subscribe if you are new i am trying desperately to hit my goal of 2500 subscribers by the end of the year any help would be appreciated but anyway it's goodbye from him look at him rolling on the floor he's very very happy <laughs> anyway thank you so much for watching and i shall hopefully see you in another video Thank <laughs> you.